Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Tirso and I'm a creative director based in New York City. This is part two of me breaking down the different stages of a graphic designer's career. In part one, I went through the positions of art assistant through senior designer. If you missed that video, make sure to check it out. There's a link in one of the corners. I don't know which corner, but I believe in you. Again, I'm doing this in the context of magazine publishing, but it's really dependent on your company and your industry. This is a start of mid-level management. Yes, there is director in the title, but it is still mid-level. To explain a little bit, the stages of progression are design, art direction, and creative direction. For associate art directors, you should have mastered a lot of your technical skills at this point. In this position, you'll have more involvement in photo shoots or even direct them yourself. And more than likely, you'll also be managing other designers at this point. I mentioned in the last video that overlooking someone else's work helps build your taste in design. At this stage in your career, you should have built that taste already so that you can provide clear direction to other designers. This is a huge learning curve for most people. How do you get your designers to execute your vision for a project? Well, you don't exactly. You want your designers to explore on their own and come up with their own design solutions instead of you forcing your ideas upon them. That is not middle management, that is called micromanagement and nobody wants that. One thing I wanna note is that I've seen often that there's an associate art director, but no art director. Effectively, you are the art director, you just don't have the official title, but it happens. So let's look at some work. This was a project I did for the American Egg Board. Exactly how exciting can you make eggs? For this, I thought of eggs being a raw ingredient. I sourced a lot of photos and slate was pretty common. I also appreciated that all of the type can read easily on the background. This was a cover for a magazine bundle Real Simple was offering at Costco. I couldn't reveal the cover, so I leaned on typography. Again, are you tracking on how important type is in your career? Our job is to communicate and type is how we can do it. I'm showing this because I just don't want my work to go in vain. I was annoyed that of the 20 people we had on the team, I was the lucky one that worked on tampons. This was for Tampax, and yes, that is Amy Schumer dressed like a tampon. I didn't think to overcomplicate this one, so I kept the type styles true to People Magazine and Tampax branding. I would say that this project was a learning experience, but not in design. Let's first talk about the difference between design and art direction. Design is focused more on execution, whereas art direction involves concepting, which provides an emotion and also the general aesthetic for the design. Here's an example I did for Sea Cuisine. They sell higher quality seafood, so I wanted to elevate the idea of what lunch is. The art direction here is a use of pastel colored linen and various textured white plates so that the fish popped out more. The design was featuring big, beautiful images of food, the use of a monochrome color palette, and pasting the reader throughout the scroll. In terms of responsibilities, you're in charge of coming up with the concepts for design projects. You can certainly lean on your team, but it's up to you to guide them so that way they're not guessing. When looking at designs, you should be finessing them, looking for any like errors, um, which are typically alignment issues or type mistakes like kerning and widows. Etc. Honestly though, there's only two words that art directors use when giving direction, which is typically bigger and smaller. The reason for this is that designers are still learning and their solutions often look flat. By making things bigger or smaller, you increase contrast across scale, hierarchy, and type. Hopefully you learned everything you needed to when you were a designer. In this position, you have to prove to your team that you can design. They will respect you more and they'll want to learn from you. If you move too fast in your career and didn't learn everything, you'll struggle to mentor a team. So don't take the shortcut, you'll get cut short. I am a religious Starbucks patron. This was an execution for their line of spring coffees. I had to get creative with this one because the vignettes were all over the place and I was also limited to shooting in studio. We have some florals, but not too many. As Miranda Priestley says, florals for spring, groundbreaking. I thought the team did a really great job propping and I really love the color palette. For any Patriot fans out there, I shot Joe Cardona for Gillette. 
This was running in Sports Illustrated, so I wanted it to feel very masculine. We shot at a CrossFit gym an hour outside of Boston. One thing I want to call out from this shoot was that when I was reviewing the film, I realized that he wasn't sweating in that bottom left photo, so I sprayed some water on him and we redid the shot. Always do the work on set and not in post-production. You're probably wondering why this looks like this. Art direction goes beyond the pages of a magazine or even a website. Charleston won Travel and Leisure's World's Best U.S. City, and we wanted to do an event for it. This was a mock-up of a bike cart that I wanted for the event, and this is the event brought to life. I got my bike cart made, and it was filled with bow ties. To promote the award, we just tied over a thousand bow ties on anyone walking by Madison Square Park. Overall, it was a super fun event, and it was a huge success. As an associate creative director, which is often abbreviated as ACD, you will be upper management. However, this is the worst position in your career. Basically, you're not a girl, but not yet a woman. At this stage, you're overseeing and leading top level concepts. However, you're still in the weeds of art direction and design. I can't emphasize how much stress and work this position entails, but it is a rite of passage for anyone becoming a creative director. ACDs communicate to a creative director or a VP of creative on strategy. They work with art directors on aesthetic and concepts, and then in some cases, they'll also work on design. You're basically doing everything at this stage. I know I said it's a rite of passage, but I actually skipped this title, so I don't have any work to show. However, the portfolio is not that different from a creative director. You just don't get credit for the full concept. This is a position that most, if not all, designers strive for. Just as art directors have to mentor to the designers below them, creative directors often mentor to middle management. So let's pivot real quick to talk about the difference between creative direction and art direction. Art direction really focuses on aesthetics versus creative direction focusing on strategy, execution, and has a focus more on the business side. Let's go back to the example earlier. Sea Cuisine renewed their campaign a second time. As a creative director, you have to refresh the approach so that clients are getting something new. We offered them placement in another brand, which was all recipes. For the art direction, I wanted the imagery to be brighter because it related better to the all recipes audience. Instead of different backgrounds, I kept it consistent throughout. When I was interviewing for my current position, I only mentioned strategy and execution, and I don't think I mentioned very much about design at all. When I started, I saw that the workload was quite overwhelming for the team, so I had to make efficiencies in the process so that it was more manageable for them. When it comes to business, it's my job to come up with ideas to help generate revenue. We have a lot of content sites underneath our umbrella, so I want to expand on mobile advertising or rich media units. For advertisers that don't currently partner with us, it is my job to come up with different creatives so that they have new opportunities for collaboration, which also helps grow the business. Another aspect of being a creative director, which is probably the most exciting part, is that you are able to make your mark on a company. When I switched over to branded content and marketing, I wanted to bring an editorial sensibility to my work. Right now, I'm trying to provide more storytelling when it comes to the trade publications. Both approaches make me stand out and remind my bosses why they hired me. A strong work ethic and an ounce of talent is also helpful. For Target Holiday, they bought high-impact units in three different brands. Since it's holiday, we thought of gifting, and for the first execution, we printed wrapping paper inside Real Simple for people to tear out and wrap a gift. The second execution was in Parents Magazine. Instead of some plaid wrapping paper, one of the designers on the team created a custom wrapping paper for the kids to color in. The third execution was in All Recipes. Gifting didn't make sense for the brand, so we did a custom shoot with recipe cards instead. After shooting the bottom right image, it redefined what it means to be drinking on the job. Just saying. Nespresso wanted to partner with Travel and Leisure for an event during Art Basel. We did a hotel takeover at the Miami Edition and outfitted the room with everything Nespresso and Travel and Leisure. We had influencers stay in the room and documented themselves interacting in the space. We also threw a brunch for them and a Nespresso barista did an espresso art workshop. And don't forget the gift bags.
Other examples of creative directors making their mark on a company, um, the first one that comes to mind would be Grace Coddington. She was the former creative director at Vogue, and after Vogue, she went to Tiffany. When she saw the advertising they were producing, the photos were all about romance, and there was also a product-only image. Her mark was introducing celebrities to the creative and swapping the product image with a shot on figure, which added an element of humanity to the brand. David Kirkurito was the creative director at Esquire. The covers on a magazine stand were all straight on, and he wanted to reimagine how to make a magazine cover stand out. What he ended up doing was introducing perspective to the cover lines. I really love this approach because the text and image now relate to each other versus being overlapped. So that's most, if not all of the titles in a graphic designer's career. You're going to find that you'll be skipping titles along the way. If you look at my trajectory, I certainly jumped titles. However, I made sure that I did the work in order to be successful when I moved into those positions. As long as you do that, you should be good. I always promote that you should focus on your craft and you'll climb up that corporate ladder faster than you think. Don't fake it till you make it, but instead, believe it till you achieve it. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other content. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.